Urban Homeworks, our, our goal isn't to take one of the nicest or nicer houses and make it even nicer. We usually go on in the block and we take the dogs that nobody else wants because if you look at it from a, a, a delta of success or impact, it's easy to come and hand pick the nice ones that are easy to renovate, but it's hard to take the ones that you know nobody wants and it's either going to be torn down or it's going to stay a piece of garbage. If you look around in this neighborhood, many times the houses that are creating the biggest problems are those units and those structures. So if we take a structure that is one of the worst on the block and then make it one of the best, that has a, a big agent for change. Uh, so Urban Home Works uh, works in neighborhoods like North Minneapolis, uh, neighbors of South Minneapolis and Frogtown and St. Paul, and we um, buy or get donated to us foreclosed, um, condemned property that is in just rough shape that you know the city may be ready to tear down, and it's it's become a problem on the on the block. For us, when you when we buy a house or get it donated and rehab it, it's not just about um, the end product, which the end product being the house. It's about the process of getting there. And so for us, rather than uh, just getting it done as quickly as possible with you know subcontractors from wherever, we want to say, okay, how do we help give value to individuals that um, are, are looking for a way to kind of enhance their life and can potentially take that job skill develop into something and change the entire legacy of their household or their family and become a little bit more self-sufficient in their employment. So this thread of kind of redemption is what we talk about throughout our entire process. This is one of those threads of saying, how do we help restore value to a lot of those young adults, mostly in our, in our neighborhoods? And um, our construction training program is one way to do that. The feeling you get when you walk down the block where it's, it used to be, you know, every other house is either boarded, condemned, had been burned and now there's this sense of community and you know one of the real basic things is the community garden that started over there but it was basically the neighbors saying we got this empty lot when we do this community garden it started small and started growing and now it you know fills up the entire lot and there's you know multiple different languages spoken there people are gathering together and it's one of those real basic things that when neighborhoods are functioning well um, People have these amenities like community gardens that they can use to get to know each other and kind of break down this wall of the unknown and the fear of the unknown and start to have more of a true community. Uh, yes, I'm uh, John Burkholder. I'm a volunteer here uh, for Urban Homeworks. And uh, I've been working with Urban Homeworks the last six or eight years on a volunteer basis. I am Brandon Dixon. I, uh, I am a AmeriCorps volunteer. I've been working alongside Urban Homeworks for about four and a half years now. I have a desire to do work in North Minneapolis because this is my community I'm part of and, uh, and I wanted to be a part of the, the solution. Working aside Urban Homeworks, I believe what they, what they do and I'm standing behind them as they do it. <laughs> We just realized that urban homeworks is not the silver bullet. You know, we are we are not the answer for everything, and that's why we have to rely on our, our, our friends in the community to say, okay, if we're not working together, you know, it's it, we're, it's going to be a lot harder to get where we want to go and to equip the, our neighborhood to be where it wants to be.